остался последний. Der Gegner von Max Hopp ist ein sehr etablierter Mann bei der PDC. Stand jahrelang in den Top 10, hat die Premier League schon mitgespielt, hat viele, viele Turniere gewonnen, aber nie ein Major-Turnier. Das fehlt noch so ein bisschen in seiner Sammlung. Und seinen Spitznamen hat er deshalb, weil er aus einer Gegend kommt, die für die Stierzucht bekannt ist. Auch ihn heißen wir herzlich willkommen hier in Hildesheim. The Bull, Terry Jenkins. Well, I'm sure the crowd are going to enjoy this one. The Bull, Terry Jenkins, one of the most popular players on the circuit, up against the local teenage sensation, the Maximizer, Max Hopp, who was one of the host nation qualifiers last night, beating Dennis Genther, Pierre Grob, and Reinhard Timmerman to get through to the first round. Qualifying for six European Tour events last year did Max played on the PDC Challenge Tour and was also a former European Youth Singles winner. Another one of the young players being tipped for a big future in the game. Had a tough draw though at Ali Pali against Robert Thornton. And losing that first round match against the Thorn in the World Championships. But Terry Jenkins, been on the circuit for a good few years now, a seven time major finalist over the last decade. A fairly lean year by his usual standards though last year, making the semi-finals of a Players' Championship event in Barnsley his best uh, showing. Not forgetting the nine darter he hit in his first round match at Ali Pali in the World Championships, but he did go on to defeat in that match against Pear Larson. So Terry Jenkins then winning the nearest the ball, and the winner of this game will play Kevin Painter. And the crowd, Rob, sure to get behind their local man, but, but give Terry plenty of support as well. Yeah, as you said, Terry is very popular. And he's, he's played in that Premier League for a number of years. So uh, even if it got a little bit over noisy, it's not going to affect the ball. Seven times a runner-up in major tournaments. And to be quite honest, if Phil Taylor hadn't have been around, and he, you know, would have probably won a few. So certainly a solid player, but this young man, again, you know, it's great that we keep talking about the youth. Wow. We have a saying on the PDC board table, it's all about the youth, and they rip into me. But it is, and it's great to see. You know, we started up, what, three, three over three years ago now. And I, I expected to wait six, five six, years six. before we got a lot of these on the TV. And it's happening within the three years, so it's great for the game. He's a tall lad, Max. There's certainly plenty of presence on the stage. One. Well, as you said, Terry Jenkins had a bit of a lean year last year, and I, I put that down, and I've told him, told him to his face that I think it was because he just took on too many exhibitions. You know, the people who do that lose their edge. But this year he seems to, uh, on the back end of last year, seem to have got a bit of form back. 
But Max Hopp now, 104 to break the throw, and he's going to get a dart at the double. Double 16 for the first leg. Shot. Beautiful shot from Max Hopp. Max well, that's what the crowd wanted to see. A 104 checkout against the throw for the maximizer. Many more people on the circuit with more bottle than Terry Jenkins. Wow. Nick Arnold. So, you know, he'll just play his own game. He'll keep plodding away. Wow. But the one thing with these young players, and you know, I keep emphasizing it, if you let them get in front of you, you let them play their game, you've got a tough challenge. They will give you a fight. 59. It's a good shot for Jenkins to punish Max Hopp's poor visit in the previous visit to the Oki. Needed a 140 there, really. Jenkins now just needs to set this up and... Oh, no, that's a mistake from Terry. But that smartens it up a bit. So Terry Jenkins will be back for 61. Double nine now. No one likes the double nine, Mike. So a charge for Max Hop. He's going to get two darts. He took the double out cleanly in the first leg. Double 16 again. Now it's double eight. Oh, what a time to miss. He's let Jenkins back in. Well, a leg that really could have gone either way. But it was Jenkins who did hit that winning double. For one apiece. This is one of the players that you don't want to let off too often because he normally makes you pay for it. He's a big, strong lad, isn't he, Max? A good, solid, strong throw. Keeps his height very well. Yes, I certainly want him on my side in an argument, that's for sure. <laughs> you probably have to pick the food bill up afterwards, though. <laughs> Should switch to the 16s. Sets it up absolutely perfectly to hold on to his throw. And will this be another game, Mike, where if Max goes on and loses this, he'll look at that second leg and think, you know, it's early on in the game, I keep saying it, but it's so crucial. It's the mindset that it gives you to go on. Well, Jenkins. A shake of the head as he leaves the Oki. But Max Hop won't be able to take out 140 here. It'll look to put a big dent on it with 
That awkward double five for Jenkins to go 2-1 up. No messing though from the ball. Well, that, that's double nine and double five. <laughs> I make those as two worst doubles on the dartboard, but te Terry Jenkins has hit them. Well, it's another game that's zipping along at quite a nice pace, this one. Both players seem to be quite well matched with the pace of the other's throw. Well, a leg that Jenkins has thrown second but got the advantage, so Max Hopp needing some big scores. Manages to grab the ton with that last start for Jenkins now. Well, he's got the all important one treble. Should give him two darts at a double when he returns to break the throw. And Hop maybe just slowed his throw down a tad. Double top for 3 1. Well, that was against the throw. And daylight now between the man from Ledbury and the German teenager. Yes, that was a crucial leg for Terry Jenkins and one that Hot Max Hop couldn't afford to lose. If it had been Jenkins' throw, it would have been different. But a 4-1 lead if Jenkins can hold his throw. Puts this young man under intense pressure. That's better from Hop, he needed that really. Yeah, he also needs Terry Jenkins not to do that though. <laughs> so still advantage to the ball. Max Hop, he's just gone off the boil. It's no good hit, you know, a big score and then a bad one. It doesn't work against the experience of this man Jenkins. So a bit of time for Jenkins to polish off this 96 to go 4-1 up and after a great start taking out 104 to win the first leg Max Hop it's been one way traffic in the direction of Terry Jenkins since then This would raise the roof, double top. And it would have really got him back in the game. Oh, Jenkins, he likes that, will slide it underneath. Well, I'd have banked money that Jenkins would have hit the double top, but he's let Max Hop in. But surely Max Hop is going to take the chance that's being given to him. Then misses. It's a single double ten. Well, having been given a lifeline there, 
Max Hopper's maybe thrown it away. Double ten for Jenkins. Double five now. Both down to double five, these two players. Great marker. Another great marker from the German. Well, <laughs> it's after you, Claude. Who was going to check out that leg? And Jenkins knows that he really was given a let off there and food for thought for Max Hopp as to what might have been. Finding himself 4 1 down now. Well, if he hit that double top to take the 160 out, he would have been on, on such a high yeah. that he really would have taken the game to Terry. But now we talk about the experience of players, and, and Jenkins has been up there. Well, he's been a great player for a long time. He knows what it's all about. And he's going to be very hard to pull back from here. Awaiting the winner of this game. Tomorrow afternoon in round two. Next up, our first round continues with Andy Hamilton up against Barry Lynn. Barry Lynn, another newcomer, played in qualifying school, didn't uh, win his tour card though. Knowing it, another Essex boys, Barry Lynn, doesn't live far away from me. So I'll be interested to see how he goes against the hammer. And Barry Lynn beat James Wade 6-5 to qualify for this. So a great performance on the day from him. Well, he's knocked off nine of that score. Четыре один. Yeah, he can't go out from there now. He needed to make sure the dart was in the 19. So great turn, the great shot. Will he go two double tops now, Jenkins? It's exactly what he's going to do. He I'm lucky. Now, it'd be interesting to see where Max Hopp go. Will he go for the treble 17? Or will he go for the 21 to lead the ball route? Frustration showing. Jenkins no, two in, he for double ten. For a five-one lead. Terry Jenkins for two in ten. Another draw. Another draw. Third draw. Closes it. Five-one. Well, that that ninety-one. Terry Jenkins for seven. It's all very well going for the double. You would expect to hit a treble in one of your first two darts. I think in this game, go playing the percentages, and sometimes you have to play those percentages. Still Sorok, Max Hop. Great last start from Max Hop. Terry Jenkins. Jenkins, still Sorok. And edging ever closer to his place in round two. Hop, 20. 60. 
снова 20 строчков. Дженкинс. Не выпадает сектор 11. Попал в тренинг 14. Третий дрочек в сектор 17. Я оставил удвоение единицы. Третий дрочек. Не попадает. Хоп, 80 очков. Двадцать, сорок очков. Шенкинс закрывает. Шесть один. Терри Шенкинс выходит следующий раунд. Терри Шенкинс макс хоп шесть один. Ну и традиционное интервью Терри Дженкинса. Видимо, что следующий матч у нас будет Лин против Энди Хэмилтона. Потом нас ожидает поединок между Уэйном Джонсом и Томасом Селлером. Следующий Эйдамс против Джоэла Фримена. Стюарт Келлет против Херца и Ричи Бёрнен против Джастина Пайпа. Последний поединок.